Let's talk about the US military budget. It's big, really big. In 2024, we're looking at a whopping $842 billion. That's more than the next 10 countries combined. But where does all this money go? It's divided into categories like personnel, operations, procurement, and R&D. The president proposes a budget, Congress debates it, makes changes, and eventually passes it. It's like a high-stakes game of Monopoly, except instead of buying Park Place, they're funding aircraft carriers. Why is this budget so massive? Why does the US spend more on its military than countries like China, Russia, and the entire EU combined? Buckle up, folks. We're about to take a journey into the land of billion-dollar price tags and acronyms that sound like rejected boy band names. Let's talk about military tech. We're not talking about the latest iPhone. The U.S. military loves its high-tech toys, and they come with a hefty price tag. Take the F-35 fighter jet, for example. It's got stealth technology, supersonic speed, and enough gadgets to make Tony Stark jealous. Each F-35 costs around $78 million. The U.S. military invests billions in developing new technologies like hypersonic missiles, AI, and laser weapons. In 2024, the Department of Defense plans to spend about $146 billion on R&D. A lot of this tech is so cutting edge that it's not even used in actual combat. But the military argues that having this advanced technology acts as a deterrent. It's like showing up to a knife fight with a lightsaber. Sure, you might not use it, but nobody's going to mess with you. Now let's talk about the US military's global presence. The US has around 750 bases in at least 80 countries. Maintaining this global presence isn't cheap. In 2024, the US plans to spend about $30 billion on military construction and family housing abroad. The US military also conducts operations and exercises all over the world. In 2024, the budget for overseas contingency operations is around $65 billion. And let's not forget about the logistical nightmare of moving all that equipment and personnel around the globe. Ships, planes, and trucks are constantly on the move, ferrying troops and equipment to where they're needed. The fuel costs alone are astronomical. The US military is one of the world's largest consumers of fossil fuels. It's like organizing the world's most complicated and expensive move. Mother Nature is probably not a fan of this particular frequent flyer program. But the military argues that this global presence is essential for national security. It's like having a neighborhood watch, but on a global scale. Now let's talk about the people who make up the US military. Personnel costs make up a significant chunk of the military budget. As of 2024, the US military employs about 1.4 million active duty personnel. Each service member receives a salary which varies based on rank and years of service. But it's not just about the base salary. The military also provides a whole host of benefits to its personnel. There's housing allowances, food allowances, and special pay for hazardous duties. The military provides comprehensive medical coverage for service members and their families. In 2024, the Department of Defense is budgeting about $55 billion for military health care. The U.S. military has a pension system that allows service members to retire after 20 years of service with a pension equal to 50% of their base pay. These long-term commitments add up. The military is on the hook for paying pensions and providing health care for veterans long after they've hung up their uniforms. It's a bit like having to pay your babysitter's college tuition 20 years after they stopped watching your kids. Training and readiness expenses. The U.S. military invests heavily in training their personnel. Basic training alone costs thousands of dollars per recruit. Specialized training for different roles can cost much more. Want to be a pilot? That'll cost the military around $5 million to train you. A Navy SEAL, that's about $500,000 per person. The military constantly conducts exercises and drills to keep its forces ready for action. These exercises can involve thousands of troops, dozens of ships, and hundreds of aircraft. A single large-scale exercise can cost hundreds of millions of dollars. The U.S. military maintains numerous training bases and ranges across the country and around the world. These aren't your average gyms or classrooms. We're talking about massive facilities that can simulate various combat environments. Healthcare costs for military personnel. The U.S. military provides comprehensive healthcare coverage for service members, their families, and retirees. The military healthcare system, known as TRICARE, covers everything from routine checkups to major surgeries. In 2024, the Department of Defense is budgeting about $55 billion for military health care. But it's not just about treating illnesses and injuries, the military also invests heavily in preventive care and health research. They're particularly interested in areas like combat casualty care, infectious diseases, and mental health. The military has been putting more emphasis on mental health care in recent years. 
They provide counseling services, suicide prevention programs, and treatment for conditions like PTSD. It's like they're finally acknowledging that being in life-threatening situations might actually be a bit stressful. Who knew? Maintenance and Logistics Expenses Maintaining military equipment is a massive and expensive undertaking. In 2024, the U.S. military is planning to spend about $292 billion on operation and maintenance. It covers everything from routine maintenance on vehicles to major overhauls of aircraft carriers. The military also has to deal with the logistics of moving equipment and supplies around the world. The military has entire ships and aircraft dedicated just to moving stuff around. They even have their own logistics agency, the Defense Logistics Agency, which has an annual budget of about $45 billion. The U.S. military is one of the world's largest consumers of fossil fuels. They use more oil than most countries. In fact, if the Pentagon were a country, it would rank about 55th in the world in oil consumption. It's like they're single-handedly keeping the oil industry in business. All those ships, planes, and vehicles guzzle fuel like a college student chugs energy drinks during finals week. But the military argues that this logistical capability is essential for rapid deployment and global reach. Research and Development Investments The U.S. military is constantly investing in developing new technologies. In 2024, the Department of Defense plans to spend about $146 billion on research, development, test, and evaluation. It covers everything from basic scientific research to the development of new weapon systems. They're working on things like hypersonic missiles, AI for battlefield decision-making, and directed energy weapons. But it's not all about weapons. The military also invests heavily in other areas of research. They're working on things like new materials for better body armor, more efficient energy systems, and advanced medical treatments for combat injuries. Many of these technologies end up having civilian applications too. Technologies like GPS, the internet, and even duct tape were all originally developed for military use. So in a way, all this military R&D spending is like a really expensive roundabout way of inventing cool stuff for the rest of us. It's like the world's most overfunded militarized version of Shark Tank. Procurement of military equipment. When the US military goes shopping, they're buying things like fighter jets, aircraft carriers, and tanks. In 2024, the US military plans to spend about $276 billion on procurement. This covers everything from bullets and boots to bombers and battleships. An F-35 fighter jet costs around $78 million. An Arleigh Burke-class destroyer? That'll set you back about $1.8 billion. The military also has to replace old equipment as it wears out or becomes obsolete. The Ford-class aircraft carrier, for example, took over a decade to develop and cost over $13 billion. And sometimes the military ends up buying stuff it doesn't even want or need. Congress sometimes pushes for the production of certain equipment to keep jobs in their districts, even if the military says they don't need it. It's like your grandma buying you ugly sweaters every Christmas. Except instead of sweaters, it's tanks. And instead of your grandma, it's Congress. But the military argues that this procurement is essential for maintaining technological superiority. The Economic Impact of Military Spending Military spending has a significant impact on the U.S. economy. First off, the military is a major employer. As of 2024, there are about 1.4 million active duty personnel and another 800,000 reserve personnel. Add in civilian employees, and you're looking at one of the largest employers in the world. And that's not even counting the jobs created in the defense industry. Companies like Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Raytheon employ hundreds of thousands of people. Military spending also drives innovation and technological development. Who knows? Maybe the next big tech revolution will come from some obscure military research. <laughs>